Hi there, I'm Stacy Swiderski, the senior photo editor here at A Wonderful Machine, and I'm about to work on a web edit for Jamie Kingham. Jamie is a photographer based in Reno, Nevada, and he predominantly focuses on lifestyle, portraiture, as well as motion. So let's take a quick look at his existing galleries. Here's his lifestyle edit. You can see he's got a good amount of work in here. Some nice strong images, um, but the way this is organized and sequenced, it feels a little jumbled. I think that this could be presented in a much more client-friendly manner that puts a bit more emphasis on the individual projects and narrative element to his lifestyle work. Okay, and so let's take a look at the portraits. There's definitely some strong work in here. Um, you can see that he's just kind of showing a feature or best of the best aspect of his portrait work and you can see that some of them are coming from the lifestyle projects where some of them are standalone editorial work. Then we have an environment gallery which seems to be a mixture of personal project work, maybe a little bit of industrial work. I'm not so sure how well this fits on Jamie's site. Um, he didn't really mention anything about wanting to do more of this kind of work moving forward. So we'll reconsider if it should even be on here anymore. He then goes into commissions, which is essentially functioning as a tear sheets gallery with a lot of great tears in here. Now we're looking at an archive section, which doesn't really help Jamie, so we might pull that in the new update. And then we have his motion work. Jamie is a great photographer when it comes to doing both video and still. So we still want to emphasize this on his site. His contact page is looking good. And his details, we have client lists and personalities. And then his contact page, a little bio about his background and how long he's been in the industry. Overall, his site isn't in bad shape, but I definitely think we can really focus on bringing out the narrative element of his lifestyle work by focusing on a project-based navigation as opposed to a specialty-based navigation like he currently has. Okay, so I'm going to go and get started on Jamie's web edit, and I'll be right back with the update. Okay, so now we're back with Jamie Kingham's new web edit, and you can see we've made quite a bit of changes. In addition to Jamie opting for a new way to present his work and a different template, we've also updated his logo so that he has more branding and more presence on his homepage. Right now, he's launching to a full screen homepage showing a selection of lifestyle images from various different projects. And then we're going to just easily click on the work to see thumbnails of different project galleries launch. On Jamie's last site, he was showing his work by specialty, pretty much just clumping the work together according to where it fit. With the new edit, we're now focusing on distinctive project galleries from different clients that he's worked with along with some of his spec work. So let's go ahead and take a look at Jeep Adventure. This is one of my favorite projects for Jamie. When we click on the gallery, it launches to a really nice thumbnail grid so we can pretty much see a layout of all the work in the edit. And then when we click on an individual photo, we can very easily scroll through the different work using the scroll pad, a mouse, or the arrow keys. Jamie has such a nice narrative element to his work, and when I was looking at all the different shoots he sent over, I said it really should be highlighted in the new edit. More and more clients are looking for photographers that can shoot libraries for their brand and really highlight the narrative aspect of marketing that's ever so present in social media campaigns and ad campaigns. So this is a really nice project too called Cabin Fever that Jamie worked on as a spec project. He had some great content in here so it was really fun going through this work. And again we're really thinking about focusing on clients, focusing on showing the most commercially viable work, and making sure that the images are sequenced in a way that tell a story and show how he's able to highlight a wide array of clients through one particular project. Okay, and let's take a look at one more gallery. Let's go to Urban Chrome. We got the thumbnails, so you can quickly see a synopsis of the project click into the project and nicely scroll through. So the interface on this new site is great. It's really easy to see the work and go back to the main page where pretty much everything is presented in an easy to navigate manner where you just click through to see the project. 
Since Jamie's predominantly a lifestyle photographer, but he also shoots portraits, we still wanted to have that portrait gallery on the site. We also made an abbreviated lifestyle gallery that essentially shows a best of collection of various different lifestyle projects. So this is the lifestyle highlight gallery, which kind of functions as an overview. And then let's take a look at that portrait gallery so you can still see the portrait work compared to the last site. Much more bold, much more streamlined and so much easier to get a sense of Jamie's style. So from this work section, you can then link to his Instagram, and here it's gonna take you to a separate tab. His bio page has been updated a little bit. He still has a profile picture. Key facts have now been put into bullet points, and then he has a select client list, and he still has some of the personalities. His contact page, not much difference here. Really easy to reach out to his rep, email, and link to his profile on Wonderful Machine. And then he also has a create PDF link. So overall, I think Jamie's site is great. It's definitely one of my favorite edits that I've worked on because we made a big transition from where he was before to where he was after. And it's not that he was ever showing subpar work. He was showing great work. He just wasn't presenting it in the best manner. So with this new site, you can see it's like really freshening up his brand. The new template with the slides on the home page, full screen, really make an impact and say something about his work and his style. And this new logo really helps take it to another level as well. So thanks for listening to the screencast. Feel free to reach out if you have questions about a web edit of your own or if you'd like some help. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a good day.